uh, Kim Skirrell, and I got involved. Uh, my father asked me to be part of a small group. Uh, he was asked to be a leader for a small group and wanted to gather a few people, a couple people he knew. And uh, I said, yes, of course. I've always wanted to, he explained a little bit about it, but it's also getting to know people in the group, um, reading scripture and, uh, you know, trying to add to my faith a little bit. So um, I said, yes, now it's been a couple years. <laughs> We, uh, we first catch up, uh, we get to know each other, ask how people are doing, um, how, what's been up in their lives when we haven't seen each other for a couple months. Um, we say a little prayer and uh, we little, read a little scripture and then we talk about it. And it's very nice because we talk, we read the scripture twice. Um, everybody has different perspectives about the scripture readings. and. I've had a couple of epiphanies where it's just, wait a minute, I didn't think of that that way. And, and then I've even mentioned a couple things of like, wait a minute, I didn't think of it that way. And um, it's actually grown me closer to Jesus. And I think that's the whole point of having that relationship with Jesus. And it also brings you more joy. Um, and of course, you're getting to know people. And I think that's another thing too. That's that community. Um, loving others, so um, that's kind of what we do. And then we say a closing prayer, and, and it's, I look forward to it every week. The people in the small group, um, they're all special in their own unique way. It's, it's fun to see, like in the beginning, when we first started, everybody was quiet. But I feel like it's, now we get together and it's, Oh, how's your cat? How's how's uh, your dad? How's your, you know, we're, we all know each other a little bit more, and it's it's so nice because we can laugh, we can say a joke, we can, um, and it's not all scripture, 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 but we do concentrate on scripture, but then it bring in life experiences. So it's just, it's each person is different, and I love them all this differently but it's just it's fun too we also talk about exper life experiences you know when somebody's going through something or we're reading a scripture and it triggers uh, a story my dad my dad is really good with stories and uh, but it would also lead another story and somebody else would share and it, it just it, it brings a little bit more of a compassion um, joy uh, just engage to know people too. Uh, you, you realize people have different struggles in their lives and you just have that connection with them um, and you want to ask them questions. You want to get to know them. Uh, we actually had a little holiday uh, get together with our small group and it was just great to connect and you know, hey, ha you know, Merry Christmas. And It, in this world, it's easy to say no, because it's just, it's easy to say no. It's harder to say yes, but then when you do say yes, it's that, okay, I made the right choice. You know, I'm, if you, if someone's really looking at increasing their faith, this is, yes, everybody has busy lives. I definitely am right up there with that. Um, but I, I believe that you have to say yes, even though it's hard. Because when you say yes, you're actually grow, going towards God, not away from God. And if you're trying to, if you want to increase your faith, start small with like a small group and more things will come.